Well, I think that it's, it's interesting. If you were like me, and I'm sorry to mention film, I was brought up on film and I shot film for many years with crews. And, you know, film's a very, very expensive medium to shoot. And um, you kind of had to know what you were doing on the shoot and um, because you just burned through your ratio. And we made a series of films for uh, Channel 4 called The Classics. They were half hour films about classic trains, classic motorcycles, classic homes. And they were all shot on 16 millimeter film. Um, and we had 30 rolls of film, so that's 30 times 10 minutes. I can't work that out in my, in my head. But um, so you really had to kind of think about your shooting ratio. And it, it, in my company now, I'm still the person who shoots less than anybody else because I won't shoot things that I know I'm, I know I'm not going to use. Well, they would say, well, he doesn't know that he's not going to use it, but I'm pretty sure when I, you know. And particularly with interviews, sometimes we would, uh, on film, you know, you'd start, <laughs> you'd start the sound, but not the camera um, because, you know, the sound was cheap, but um, the film wasn't. And then you would nudge the cameraman when the interviewee said something interesting. With tape, I mean, you know, the idea of ratios and things kind of went out the window slightly because, you know, tape was relatively cheap and um, you could just let it rumble on. Um, and, um, you know, there were cameramen around who didn't really know where the stop button was. So, you know, you just had to be, be mindful of that. Because obviously the more tape you got into the cutting room, the more material you got into the the longer it was going to take you to edit. Exactly. And the mm. more, uh, well, the more edit editors work there was, which yeah. I suppose from my point of view is a good thing, but from the programme's point of view, possibly not. Yeah. So we've got a bit of... Well, I think also, you know, um, part of it, if you're making documentaries or factual material, part of it is knowing what your story is going to be and always being aware of that what you're trying to generate all the time are story elements. So, you know, you're looking... Everything has a beginning, a middle and end. So if you're shooting, if you're making a shot, it has a beginning, a middle and an end. If you're doing an interview or a question, you're trying to get a beginning, a middle and an end out of your interviewee. Um, so my way of going about it was that, basically everything I shot had to have a beginning, a middle and an end. Because it's some, it, it may be that that is going to be the beginning of your film and one bit of it may be the end of your film. And certainly you're going to need the end of sequences and the beginning of another sequence. So you kind of look for things that are going to uh, help you form the narrative of the piece. So this tape was actually <coughs> parked at the end, so I'm now winding it back to the front. We'll see if we can find the next bit of One sink. of the nice things about tape was the thinking time. Yes. In That's rewind. Gives you time to think about if you're stuck for ideas, at least you have the rewind time. <laughs>